welcoming you back to the desk of Cadicorus. Join us as we partake into a new installment of Current Quickies. <laughs> Hello my duckies, and this time we'll be having a look at... Deadpool on PS4. Phew. This game is... Yeah, it's alright. I know this came out years ago for PS3 and Xbox 360, but honestly, I didn't know anything about Deadpool at all as a character, so I didn't really care to pick it up. But then recently I saw the Deadpool movie, and then heard about this one being made on PS4, the remastering, so I thought, why not give it a go now? I really like the movie, so maybe I really like the game. But the question is, how did I find it? Well... <gasps> This game is alright, luckily I have more positive than negative to say about it, but it's still just above average for me. Deadpool may stay as true as anything to the comics and the character with his constant fourth wall breaking sense of humour, excessive violence and constant profanity, yet there's only so much of it you can enjoy when the gameplay hasn't been given that level of polish it really needed to make it special. Can I start off by asking that as a PS4 port, you know, would jump up from PS3, is there a reason the game doesn't look that good? It's not the most graphically heavy game in the world, doesn't look much better than many PS3 games, and yet the frame rate doesn't seem to run anywhere near as well as some other remasters. So off the bat, I'm kinda of wondering what the point of this existing on PS4 even was in the first place when Metal Gear Rising Revenge looks and plays much better on a last gen system. But hey, take that away and what do you have? You have a hack and slash game with a massively entertaining sense of humour, and that's as deep as I can describe it. Gameplay is slightly repetitive towards the end of the game, but while it lasts, it's unbelievably satisfying. Using light attacks and heavy attacks with three interchangeable melee weapons and incorporating them with three-star third-person gunplay with four different guns and throwable items, Deadpool is a lot of fun when you're looking to ramp up insane combos, feel like a boss for counter-attacking and disintegrating people into pools of blood with energy weapons and grenades, and all while witnessing some lovely quips and funny random shit all at the same time. All the Deadpool points you collect through the massive combos and enemy kills can be used to purchase practically anything you want in the upgrade store at any time, depending on how much you use what you want to upgrade. Keeping the sense of progression and powering up very prominent and satisfying, but also making it fair by having the game force you to kill enemies with particular weapons and certain amounts of times on low power in order to be rewarded with the ability to upgrade them. I like that system and it makes the game not a total cakewalk. The controls are really good, gun combos and stealth attacks are always fun, the momentum meter the rewards seamless performance from the player by having huge special attack rewards is great, especially when you can incorporate it into a combo, and how the enemies can not only attack you but block you made some of the groups of enemies a challenge but a joy to outwit them and take them down. The enemies may not be too intelligent but they can easily get the better of you since some fire projectiles, some fly, some have guns, some have armor, some are untouchable until you break their block with a light heavy attack. There's a lot here and you have to remember all these little behaviors since they're mixed together and thrown at you at many points in the game to make sure you've been paying attention despite how repetitive it does get towards the end especially, where it becomes slightly exhausting, I must say. To talk about the humour, well, Deadpool is a character based around profanity, sexual innuendo and fourth wall breaking, and if that sounds good to you, you will love this game. There are many genuine moments that made me laugh to myself, really well written humour being thrown at you left, right, front and centre, and lots of imaginative jokes that even flat out include the players into them. Yet despite that, the humour doesn't always work, for example, with how the game actually tries to compensate for lazy or bad design choices by simply just joking about it or insulting the developers of the game. Like, I get it, you're trying to make some commentary about action gaming cliches and archetypes, and that's fine, but to then actually just make the player do it anyway because you can think of a better way to develop a particular part of the game? Fucking low blow, Deadpool, and it doesn't make you funny, just annoying, and how self-aware you are about that, I just found kind of insulting because you are still doing exactly what you're calling shit game design or being blatantly obvious and hammering it in with where you're supposed to go. There are also many other areas in the game that need some serious polishing, such as the fact that enemy variety is hugely lacking as well as visual contrast. I mean, a lot of enemies do the same thing and look the same in lots of same looking environments. Practically every single bigger enemy is so exploitable it's sad. Seriously, there's one particular enemy in the game where I literally just had to hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, 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 dodge, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit, hit, over and over again until he died. It was sad how lazy it was, and the bosses are barely even classifiable as bosses as far as I'm concerned, not having too many different attack styles to regular enemies and not carrying any major weight or threat. I know my good fucking Christ, the ending parts of the game were so poorly designed and cheaply constructed it slightly ruined the game for me. Just a heads up developers, throwing every single boss character at you in one go with no thought and no ways they work together does not substitute fair difficulty and I don't care how many fucking jokes you want to make about how many repetitive damn enemies are thrown at you for no reason, it's still happening and it's honestly kind of bullshit. Also, apart from the odd Deadpool points to upgrade yourself, there isn't much at all to find, no secrets, no special items, nothing is worth exploring for at all, which I guess makes sense due to its more linear design compared to other games like this, but if you're still going to include Deadpool points everywhere, give us something else worth looking for. This is not only boring and looks slightly cheap, but it doesn't make you feel like you discovered anything when you can just gain more points from just fighting. In conclusion, Deadpool is a really good entry level game into the hack and slash genre to let inexperienced players know what to expect from Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. And yes, it can be very funny at points and enjoyable to play, but if you're seasoned in games like DMC or Bayonetta, Deadpool will just make you wish you were playing them instead due to its straight back nature. Like I said, it's really good for entry level though. It works really solidly and it's still very fun to play and it has a lovely character and energy to its presentation. But as someone who adores Bayonetta and other games such as, I felt this was too basic and a little bit too throwaway for me to highly recommend. It was made for a much more mass audience, which is fine because it does its job really well and functions great for that, and I can respect that. It isn't easy to do that without coming across as patronizing or pandering, but it isn't made for diehard hack and slash players. More die-hard Deadpool lovers. <laughs> and so, I give this game 6 out of 10. It's good, but it's no Bayonetta 2. Cute.